So if you step up to the front of your mat and just draw your big toes together and just stand nice and tall, thinking of a good posture. Shoulders are back and down, chin is tucked, and you're engaging through your core. So in our yoga practice, it's bandhas, root lock, and abdominal lock. So these are muscle locks. Okay, so uh, mula bandha, root lock is like perineum squeeze, pelvic floor, and then your deep abdominals were drawing in and up to connect with this deep corset of muscles, your transverse abdominus muscles, deepest set of abdominals. Okay, take the hands up into prayer if you want, closing the eyes if you want. And then the most important part of our practice is pranayama, which is breath. Okay, so we're breathing through the nose and sounding that breath in the back of the throat. So this ujjayi breathing is a conscious breath that is with you throughout the whole sequence that we're going to go through. Feel that breath into your rib cage and let that breath guide you through the practice this morning. So take an in breath and reach the hands up. Follow your thumbs and then exhale and fold. Draw the hands down either side of your feet, softening knees where you need. Look up, inhale, flatten the hands, step it back. From here, knees can come down or take the body down as one and then come to the tops of the feet, inhale, and then tuck the toes. Lift the hips high, spread the fingers wide, and maybe just start pedaling your heels up and down, looking through between your feet and your down dog. So stretch the mat sideways to separate those shoulder blades and wrapping the shoulders out and away from the ears. And then when you're ready, look up and bring your feet back up to your hands. Inhale, lift the chest, exhale, fold it again. And then inhale, reach up. Then exhale, return to Tadasana. So inhale, reach it up. Then exhale, fold. Tuck the head in. Inhale, lift the chest. Flatten the hands, step or jump. Look forwards, come down, elbows tuck. In breath, lift your chest and roll your shoulders back, tuck your toes, and into down dog. So, Mula Bandha is on, that's your root lock, and Udiyana Bandha, your abdominal lock. Your thighs are on, if you can, and you keep lifting the kneecaps up using the quads. Roll the shoulders from the ears, and most of all, breathe. And look up and bring those feet back to your hands, stepping or jumping with the chest. Inhale, exhale, Uttanasana, forward bend, and then inhale, reach it up. This time we're going to exhale, fold down straight away. Tuck the head, inhale, lift the chest, flatten the hands, step or jump. Look forwards, come down from your high plank to your low, exhaling. Lift your chest, draw your shoulders back, tuck your toes, and into down. So once again, check the hands, spread the fingers one. We're all the shoulders from the ears. So we're engaging through your root lock and your abdominal lock and pushing the floor away. And with every breath, we get a little bit more range into the body. Look up and step or jump your feet to your hand. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale and fold. And inhale, reach it up. Once again, we're going to fold straight away, tucking the head in. Inhale, look up. Flatten those hands, step or jump back. Look forwards, come down to Chakaranga. Inhale to your up dog, and exhale to your down. So this time, if you step your right foot, then keep your left heel up. And reach your right hand to the ceiling, and open up on the right side. Bring the right hand down inside of the right foot, put it with the left foot, and reach up. Then open up. Come back. Bring the foot back to a high plank. Exhale, elbows to ribs. In breath, lift your chest. Exhale to down dog. 
We're going to step your left foot forwards and then take the left hand up and reach it up. Bring that hand down inside, pivot the back foot, reach up with the right hand and open up. Come back, hands either side, high plank, loop forwards, exhale, elbows to ribs in, breath up, chest lifting and into down. So you're in your down dog, you're breathing and you're sounding the breath in the back of your throat. You may intermittently hear my cat, that's Ollie, gone out, but then we'll just keep moaning away until he's let back in. And then the other problem is, is that Bella, that our dog who's here, can't see her, may well go a bit mental at any moment. So be ready for all of that. Look up and bring your feet back to your hands. Inhale, lift the chest, exhale to fold. Now this time, bend your knees. Inhale, reach it up. Then stand tall, and then exhale, fold again straight away into Uttanasana. Inhale, lift the chest. Flatten those hands, you can step or jump, come down, Chaturanga. In breath, lift your chest, roll your shoulders back. Exhale to down dog, pivot your left foot, step your right foot, come up to warrior one, inhale it. Over your thumbs, come back down, high plank. Look forward, exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale to your up dog, exhale to your down. Pivot your right, step your left. Coming up, warrior one, inhale. Reach it up, come back down, high plank. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, back bending, and exhale to down. So find that edge every time. So we're constantly yeah. moving. Band is on. Shoulders open, breath, number one. So we're long in the spine and broad in the shoulders, finding that length in the body all the way through to the heels. Look up, stepping or jumping, feet to your hands, inhale, lift the chest, exhale, fold it, bend the knees, inhale, reach it up. Utkatasana, stand tall, and then fold down, exhale, straight away. We're just flowing, inhale, look up, and step or jump. Come down, look forward, elbows tucked, in breath, lift the chest, roll the shoulders back, exhale, sit down, dog, pivot the left foot, step the right. Come up, Virabhadrasana, one, inhale, pull your thumbs, come back down. High plank, exhale, chakaranga. Inhale, two, up dog, exhale, two, down dog. Pivot your right, step your left. Reach it up, warrior one. Pull your thumbs, come back down. High plank, look forward, exhale, chakaranga. Inhale, up dog, exhale, down. And breathe. If you want to, step and lift your right heel up. Stretch your left heel down. Come back down with the right foot and set the left leg up. Sink the right heel down. So that opposition. And then come back to down dog. Take some breath and when you're ready, stepping or jumping. Feet to hands, inhale, lift the chest, exhale, folding. Bend your knees, Utkatasana. Now return Padasana. And from here, step or jump your feet hip distance apart. So check that alignment, take your hands to your hips. Little back bend on the in breath if you want, pushing the hips forwards. And then fold it down. First two fingers reaching for your big toe, look up, inhale. And then exhale, fold. So as you fold, pull on your toes. Press on your fingers, maybe shake the head to release the neck. Pull in, draw the torso closer to your thighs. And breathe. Inhale, look up. Take your hands underneath your feet now. So this is Padahastasana. Inhale, look up. And exhale, fold. Press down on the hands. So releasing wrists from Surya Namaskara. 
and deepening the stretch into the back of your body, shifting the weight forwards, tucking the head. Inhale, look up, exhale, hands to your hips, bandas come up, inhale, step or jump, feet back together, stand in Tadasana. So once again, step out, nice and low, tucking the left foot, turning the right, reach the right arm, and reach the left hand high. So your right hand's going to go down your leg, as far as you can, or maybe you can go all the way to your big toe, those two fingers, don't stick the hips out the back though to get there. Collar bones are wide, breath is number one, thighs are on. Come up, tuck your right foot to turn your left. Reach along with your left hand, reach high with your right. And only taking that hand down as far as it will go down the leg with the foot. Thighs are on, chest is open, wingspan stretching. And most of all, we're staying with that Ujjayi breath, breathing through the nose and sounding the breath in the back of your throat. Coming up. So you do a rotated version of this. So step your right foot out of it. Make sure your hips are square so your feet are not in line. Take your left hand to the outside of this right foot, to the floor if you can make it. Hand can go to hip, right hand or to the ceiling and reach up. So you've got your rotated triangle now. Focus on your breathing, a little bit more focus with these twists, come up. So we turn around, set yourself up, back foot's at 45. Right hand comes down to the outside of the left foot, and then the left hand goes up to the ceiling. So if you've made it to the floor, push the floor away. That's not happening, the hands around the ankle or shin, and you're twisting. Breathe. Release, to the side, come back to the front of your mat, standing in mountain posture. So we step it out, nice and more. All right, stretching out. Turn the right foot to bend the knee. So you can either rest this right arm down on the leg or you can take it to the floor and reach up and over with your left arm. Stretch your fingertips from the edge of your back foot. Lift your rib cage. Sound the breath in the back of your throat. Breathe, come up. Tuck your right foot, turn your left. Maybe shuffle the feet a little bit longer. Either rest the left elbow down or take the left hand down to the floor. Reach up and over. Focus on the rib cage, lifting to the ceiling. And gaze either to the hand or to the side. Send the edge of your back foot into the floor. Extended side angle posture. Release. Come back to the front of your mat. Standing in Tadasana, all the time focusing on that breath. Step it out again. So we're gonna do some wide leg stretches now. Let's take the hands to the hips. Toes are in, heels are out. Inhale, look up. And exhale to fold. Take your hands down to the floor, shoulder distance. Look up, inhale. And exhale to fold. So we're tucking the head in, shifting the weight through the feet, and feeling that stretch through the back of the body. Maybe take the hands a little bit further back. Shift the weight, lift the sit bones high, tuck the head, deepen the stretch. Bandas look up, inhale, exhale, hands to hips, inhale to come up, release the arms. Now turn the palms around and interlace your fingers and stretch your weight. So you're either going to have the palms open or the palms pressed. Inhale, look up. And exhale, fold. Tuck your head in. And breathe into your chest, into your shoulders now. Tuck the head. Feel the weight shifting through from toes, edges of the feet, heels. And with every breath, trying to get a little bit more range, working those arms away from your body. Bandas come up and release. And let's come back to the front of the mat. Bringing your feet together and then take your fingertips to your elbows behind your back or take your hands into a inverted prayer. And then work those palms up the back. Step the right foot out. 
short posture, left foot comes out so you square your hips. Inhale, look up, lift the chest, pull the belly in and fold. Draw your chest down. So you're long in the spine, strong in the thighs, broad across the feet, spreading the toes where you can. Most of all, you're staying with your breath. And then you come up on the in breath and you turn around, set yourself up. Remember, feet not in line, back foot comes around 45. Well, a band up on a band up inhale. Draw the chest down. As if you're trying to get your chin to your shin, long through your spine, palms pressing, and breathing. So we concentrate on that Vijay breath, number one, sounding the breath in the back of the throat. And then come up. And release. And then come back to the front of your mouth. So from this position, take your left hand to your hip and take your right knee up. You can hold that position or you can reach for your big toe or it's two fingers. And then we can press out. So we're going to stand there, keeping that foot above belly, okay? Drawing the leg back to the hip socket. And we're going to take the leg out to the side. And we're going to draw the chest open. And maybe look to across the left side and back to the center. Lift a little higher, knee and nose, and then hold that leg out. And see if you can hold it there and breathe. And then release and come down to the floor, standing back in Padasana. So, stand on your right leg, bring your left knee up. Stay there or reach for your big toe and then push out. So stand in tall, draw the leg back into the hip socket. Maybe lift the leg a little bit high on the nose before you draw the leg out to the left. Keep standing tall and maybe look over your right shoulder. Breathe. Come back to the center, lift a little higher. And then try holding the leg out as high as you can. Thighs are on, hip flexors, bandas, standing leg strong, bend the knee, come down. Okay, good stuff. So this time, draw that right knee in again. And then reach for your foot. Draw the foot up towards the crease of your right hip. Take your right hand and wrap it behind your back. Try binding with your left arm, or if you're more flexible, you reach that hand down to your foot. You bind with your foot, releasing the left hand to the ceiling and reach up. And then maybe folding. Do this with focus, with breath, with bandas, with control, release. So remember, Pranayama, number one, your breath. Take your left leg up. Draw that foot up towards the crease of your right hip. However long you need to do it. Take your left hand and wrap that behind your back and try binding with your right arm. Or maybe if you're more flexible, you could reach for your foot. So if you've got the foot, release the right hand and maybe fold. Remember, you're always trying to work 70-80% of your max through this short sequence that we're doing, led by your breath, and keeping that good form, and maintaining any engagement through your core muscles, your root lock, mula bandha, and your abdominal lock, udhyana bandha, and then release. All right, great stuff. So we'll come back to Tadasana at the front of your mat. Standing tall, you take it up on the in-breath. Exhale, folding, Uttanasana. Tuck the head, lift the sit bones, inhale, lift the chest. Flatten the hands, step or jump. Look forwards, come down, elbows tucked. In-breath, lift your chest. Roll your shoulders back and then tuck your toe. 
from here, we've got to bring the feet to hands, we can step them up or we can jump them. So stay in that low squat now, knees together. Pull the abdominals in, sink the tailbone, and reach up. This is Utkatasana, Fierce Warrior. So we stretch the fingers up, we drop the shoulder blades down the back. And we drop the tailbone down and press the heels into the floor. And on the in-breath, stand up, and on the out-breath, fold. We tuck the head in. Inhale, lift the chest, flatten those hands, step forward, jump. Come down, look forwards, chakaranga. Inhale to your up dog, and exhale to your down. From here, pivot your left foot, and step your right. Come up to warrior one. So, a bit of a drasana one now. Go nice and long. In your posture, reach up and breathe. Either stay there or an extra little challenge, wrap the hands behind the back. Interlace the fingers. Keep the right leg strong and try lifting the left leg up. Lift the chest, stretch the leg away, stretch the arms away. And then come back down. Come back to Virabhadrasana 1. And then turn around. Reach it up. Sink down, hold it there, square the hips, the shoulders. Take those hands behind and interlace your fingers if you want. And then, if you can, you lift this back foot up. Stretch it away. Lift the arms, lift the chest. Extend the crown of the head away from the toes and the back foot. Come back down. Reach it up, warrior one. Now, split the arms apart, get the heels in line, shuffle the feet a little bit wider, try to keep the hips offset, put the shoulders down the back and sink into your warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. Breathe. Drop the right hand down, lift the left hand up, look up to that palm or look back to your right leg. Keep reaching. Come back, warrior two. Tuck your left foot, turn your right. Bend any. So we're doing a lot of warrior-tastic experience here, dropping the shoulders down the back, back leg strong. Stretch the fingers away, turn the right palm up and reach up. Drop the left hand down and either look behind you or look up. Come back to your warrior two and then continue hands down to the floor. High plank, look forward, exhale, low plank. Inhale up, dog, lift the chest, into down. And then from here, you're going to step or jump your feet to your hands and sit down on the floor. Okay? And find Dandasana. Okay? And breathe. So Dandasana. Thighs are on, toes towards, heels away, shoulders back and down. Take some breath. Now reach the arms up, inhale, pull the belly in. And fold long, reach, pull the belly in. Reach for your legs, your feet, your toes, wherever you can, as far as you can. Take an in breath and then fold, breathe. So your first proper seated posture. Push the heels away, draw the toes towards, open up the backs of the knees. Breathe into your root. Sound the breath in the back of your throat. Release. Either sit in Dandasana or I'll take you through a vinyasa, cross the leg. You can roll over the feet or step or jump them back. Come to a high plank, exhale to a low plank. Inhale to your up dog, exhale to your down. And then step or jump. Sit down on the floor. So, next posture we're going to do is a reverse plank, Purvatanasana, take the hands behind. And then from here, wrap your thighs in. If you're going to come up with the legs straight, lift the hips and stretch the toes. Take the head back. That feels too much. Bend the knees. Come to tabletop, lift the hips. And go back. If you like it, if not, tuck the chin in. 
Bandas are on, breath is on, thighs are on. Come back down, take it into vinyasa if you want, or sit in dandasana and take some breath. So we're gonna draw your right foot in to the inside of your left thigh. And we're gonna just twist round towards this left leg, lifting the arms up. And exhale, folding, reaching long to your legs or your feet on the left side and breathe. Focus on that breath, number one. Keep the left leg strong and long. Keep the right leg soft and open where you can. Breathe. And release. So in between, let's have the legs straight. Take the hands further down the thighs to the floor. Tuck over. And now from here, try and lift your hips up and off the floor, pushing the floor away. Bandits, breath. Come back down. Right leg long. Take your left foot inside of your right thigh. And then reach up on the in, fold down for that leg or foot, and draw the chest forwards, breathing. Keep the front thigh strong, flexing through the foot, soft and open on the left leg, and then release. So we can either sit in Dandasana, we could do a Vinyasa, we could do a reverse plank, or we could take the hands to the side, and pull the heels in and lift the hips and push the floor away. Maintaining heat, building strength between our seated postures. Sit tall, left leg long. Draw the right heel in. So you want to draw that heel in as tight as you can towards your right sit bone and sit tall there. And maybe you're going to stay there. Or maybe you're going to reach this right arm inside and wrap around and then reach for the other hand if you can. Otherwise, you might need to be getting hold of something like a belt, or maybe you're just working towards. Always trying to find that edge. If you are wrapped, press against the shin. Draw the nose towards the toes. Draw the chest towards the thigh. And release. So you've got the choice there if you want. I'm going to take you through the hands either side of the hips, draw the heels back and lift the hips up. Push the floor away. Bandas on. All good for upper body strength and core strength. So right leg long, left heel drawn in. Remember, have a palm's distance between your foot and your thigh. If you want, reach left arm wrapping around and see if you can find that hand or wrist. Maybe you're working with your body, find that edge, and then draw the chest forwards and down, and breathe. So you're always trying to give it your best in your leg practice. Okay, there are gonna be certain postures that you will find more challenging, and those are the ones that you should always include. Breathe, although I know it's not easy. We go for the ones that are tough and release. So once again, I'm just going to take it into that lift, draw the heels in. You can do a vinyasa, you can do a reverse plank to open the front of the body. You could sit in dandasana and breathe. Okay. So from here, we'll try Marachasana B. You can always do this next posture sitting against the wall. Okay, um, so we take the left leg in and we draw that foot up towards the crease of your right hip. That might be enough. If you can, you start drawing your right heel in towards you. If all this feels too much, you could take your hands behind your back or you could lie on your back. Or if you're more flexible, you are sitting up in this position and you're trying for that bind, wrapping the right arm around and the left hand behind. Breathe. Release. And either sit tall and breathe, Dandasana, take it to reverse plank, 
or do one of the other movements with the breath that I've been doing with you this morning. And then take your right foot and draw that up to the crease of your left hip. And then take your left foot and draw that in. So hopefully with the heat you've built and the heat of the day, yeah, you should be feeling that you're moving with greater ease. Remember, you can either do this sitting up, hands behind, lying back, or full posture, wrapping. I'll leave that to you if you're more flexible. Definitely not happening for me. But I'll just keep working at it and opening up. So it's definitely tough postures for me, the hip openers. And release. And once again, you can take it into your vinyasa, reverse plank, seated attention, or lift the hips up. And release. And coming down. Okay, from here, you're going to find your sit bones now, and we're going to take it into Navasana. So we're going to draw the feet off the floor and reach the arms. Pull the belly in and stretch the legs if you can. If that feels too much, bend in the knees. Keep the chest lifted as if there's an anchor point from the wall or ceiling in front uh, to your chest. Now, tuck in, make the body nice and compact. Place the hands either side and drive the lift off in between. Come back. Stay with your breath, reach your arms. Take the legs away, drop the shoulders down. Stretch the legs away if you can. Pull the belly in, keep that good form. Breath, cross the legs, tuck in tight. Try to lift off. Come back down, we'll try one more. Breathe. Reach, extend if you can in Navasana, and lift. This time, let's cross the legs, either roll over the feet, or step or jump them behind. Go through a vinyasa. Use your breath. Stepping or jumping. Come back down. Okay. I'm going to lie back on the floor, bring the heels in towards the sit bones. Okay, tight as you can, toes slightly inverted. Feel your spine up and off the floor. Lift the hips, squeeze the inner thighs. So we can reach towards those feet. If they're not making it, interlace your fingers. Draw your chest open or wrap your hands around your ankles or take your hands to your hips or take the hands to the side of the head and push up to upward bow. So keep lifting the hips, squeezing the inner thighs. And come down. Hug those knees in. Take some breath. And then once more, tuck the heels in. And peel up. So work the arms under to either interlace fingers or wrap the hands around the ankles or hands to the hips or hands side of the head. Stay with your breath. Bandas, inner thighs squeezing. And come down. Not so easy to give you those coaching points up in upward bow. So don't breathe out me there. Keep the Ujjayi breath going. Roll up. So we need to do a counter pose now for those back bends. So nice long forward bend. Reach up, pull the belly in, draw the toes towards. Reach the hands down the length of the feet and breathe. So we're sounding the breath in the back of the throat. We're breathing into the ribs. And all the while trying to re-lengthen the spine through the thoracic spine and the lumbar spine. 
after your back bend. Release. Now cross those legs. Either roll over or step or jump. Go through your vinyasa, but this time only come to downward dog. Once you're in your downward dog, come down to your knees. And then set your foundation for either your headstand or for dolphin posture, preparation for headstand. So those of us that are doing preparation, the elbows, narrower than the shoulders, that's going to be the same for your headstand. And bandas on all the way for everybody. Those of us that are not doing headstand, the head stays off the floor and we look through between the feet. We tuck the toes, we lift the knees, we walk the feet up and push the floor away. Draw the abdominals in. So really work into the back and into the shoulders. If you want something else, keep the left foot on the floor and lift the right leg up. Okay, and keep that lift as you push the floor away. Change legs. Try the left leg up. Push the floor away. Breathe. Come back. Hold it. Bandas, thighs, hips, core, and come down. And send the hips back. Take the hands back. Rest the head on the floor. And breathe. Walk the hands forwards, come to high plank, go through your vinyasa with the breath. Maintaining that lightness in the body. Come back round to sitting in a cross-legged position. So you can either sit cross-legged, you can sit one foot up for a half lotus, or maybe you can do a full lotus. Or maybe you need something to lift you up, okay, to allow the hips to release, so feel comfortable. Take the hands behind the back, fingertips to elbow. Take an in-breath and draw the chest down. And tuck the head in. And breathe. If that's feeling restrictive, release the hands and stretch them out in front of you. And breathe. Come up and resting your arms on your thighs, engage your thumb and forefinger and stretch your other fingers over to tuck your chin. Pull your belly, open up your collarbone. Sound the breath in the back of your throat. So in Padmasana here, the focus is on that strong posture, root lock, abdominal lock. But breath, pranayama, number one. If you want last challenge, Tolasana. Hands either side, lift it up and try to push the floor away and breathe. So this is your last physical challenge, really engaging everything. Strong, 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 strong. Breath can be sharp, in and out, in and out through the nose or continue Ujjayi breath. So you try and do that. As many breaths as you can. If you're in a lotus, then I know that it's, well, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's, Definitely easier, but then you still got to really work strongly through your core and you got to work strongly through that upper body strength. So what am I saying? It's not easy. It's, you know, good on you if you can do it for sure. You use your body. It's all about your body, your practice. As we know, it's all in the practice. So if you have any time, you don't have time for full practices or these modified practices, make sure you do some sun salutations and that will just keep, keep things ticking over. All right, we're going to take it into some rest now after our physical practice, Shavasana. So practice is over, physical practice, and this is what we work towards. So we'll lie back and release. So make sure you are comfortable. If you need something under the knees, do that. If you need to bend the knees, you do that. 
So we take some deeper breaths and we can roll the head side to side. And then we are finding a stillness in the body after our physical practice and finding a stillness in the mind. So through the physical practice, we were absorbed with number one, that Ujjayi breath. And bandhas engaged, keeping your core switched on as you work through your asanas. And then we focused then on the asanas once we work with our breath and bandhas. So now all of that's released. The heart rate is coming back down to a steady state. But just as in the physical practice, the focus is on the breath. But now that breath is just a natural breath. You may want to place the hands on the belly and you can follow the rise and fall of your abdomen. Or maybe arms are right. So just take a deeper breath in and out and just begin to wake, reawaken the body by giving the fingers and the toes to wake up and stretching out. Gradually walk the feet up and hug the knees in and roll side to side. And roll to the right side. When you're ready, come back ready. Namaste. So I'm going to dedicate today's practice to my friend Mark's 
father, who very unfortunately died of COVID-19 a few days ago. And yeah, so that's for him. Uh, I 